Thor News. Bring that stone cold science. Thor News bring the real badass science. A lot of people don't get it because I tell jokes and they're like, hey man, there's one thing we know for a fact. Scientists are not allowed to have a sense of humor. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> Starting to see pictures, ain't you? I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners. And that's why you're here. To stick around. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Neptune follow-up video. I'm going to cover a subject I haven't seen anybody else talk about anywhere other than here the Cornell University Library the R or whatever the hell you want to call it man I ain't no fancy highfalutin Ivy Leaguer so you can try and punch me in the nuts if you want to now here's a title that really caught my eye and made my imagination go wild an extreme planetary system around HD 219828 one long period super Jupiter to a hot Neptune host star now that's crazy a I've heard of super Jupiters before. They're just Jupiters that can fly, leap buildings in a single bound, go faster than a speeding train, and look through people's clothes with x-ray vision. Wait, no, I think super Jupiters are just a really big Jupiter. I don't know, maybe it's a Jupiter that has extra Jupiter powers. But I'd heard of that one before. What I had not heard of, to get to the chase, is a hot Neptune host star. So, if I'm reading this correctly, we have a Neptune. It's gone hot, which means it started fusing hydrogen or helium asterisk and turned into a star wow that's fantastic magnificent and almost completely destroys the accretion disk theory which everybody seems to believe is a fact remember that one that i make fun of all the time you're probably sick of it where they say oh yes what happens is in outer space in a vacuum you got a big lump of dust and gas what happens is in outer space all that gas and dust floating everywhere it's so heavy it collapses and creates a sun and planets like our solar system and I'm almost like dude that's that's totally wrong I don't know how they're created but that's wrong I can tell you that anyway so the theory has always been that the giant cloud of gas and dust collapses and creates a star but here we got Neptune just going hot boom like I was a gas giant and what do you know I'm a star correct me if I got this wrong What's interesting is they call Planet Nine, which is still yet to be discovered, asterisk, a Neptune type planet. I wonder if that puppy is about to go hot. The about 2,000 extrasolar planets confirmed, the results show that planetary systems have a whole range of unexpected properties. Well, no duh, man. Imagine Mother Nature, which extends across the entire universe, and God, they're very good friends, can create some magnificent wonders that our little Earth like brain can barely imagine. I compare it to an ant looking up at a human holding a smartphone trying to figure out the billing system. I don't think the ant is going to be able to understand it all because that little ant is just not equipped with the understanding tools needed to understand like an AT&T data and taxes and fines and fees billing system. Poor ant. We present a full investigation. Oh shit, this isn't even just like, hey, research, study. This is an investigation. That's cool. Man. We present a full investigation of the HD219828 system, a bright metal-rich star for which a hot Neptune has previously been detected. I never even heard of hot Neptunes before, man. I don't know, maybe I'm just an astronomy scrub. Needs to do his homework. We use this set of Harps, oh great, Sophie and Elodie radial velocities to search for the existence of orbiting companions to HD219828. Hey, you gonna be sick of me saying that? Well, I'm gonna be sick of saying it. A dynamical analysis is also performed to study the stability of the system and to constrain the orbital parameters and planet masses. We announced the discovery of a long period, P equals 13.1 years, massive Messini 15.1 megajoule companion. Huh, so it's got a Jupiter 15.1 times the size of normal? That's interesting. And it's in a very eccentric orbit, E equals 0.81. I don't really know what that means, but I mean, I think it's more up and down as opposed to horizontal. I couldn't remember what the other one was. What's up and down? There's a scientific term for it. I'm a dumbass. The same data confirms the existence of a hot Neptune with a minimum mass of 21 m Earths and a period of 3.83 days. The dynamical analysis shows that the system is stable. What, did, well, what do you know? The HD219828 system is extreme and unique in several aspects. First, then give that bitch a name. First, 
among all known exoplanet systems, it presents an unusually high mass ratio. We also show that systems like HD 219828 with a hot Neptune and a long period massive companion are more frequent than similar systems with hot Jupiters instead. All right, I want some photographs here. Nah, I'm totally enraptured, captured, curious. This suggests that the formation of hot Neptunes follows a different path than the formation of their hot Jovian counterparts. Wait a second. I thought all this stuff formed at the same time in the accretion disk model when the giant cloud of gas and dust collapsed to create everything. Mm, okay, so that theory now has a giant gaping shotgun hole through the middle of its chest. Woohoo! Thor News, bring that stone cold science. Thor News, bring the real badass science. A lot of people don't get it because I tell jokes and they're like, hey man, there's one thing we know for a fact scientists are not allowed to have a sense of humor. The high mass, long period, and eccentricity of HG219828 C also make it a good target for Gaia astrometry, as well as potential target for atmospheric characterization. Using direct imaging or high resolution spectroscopy, astrometric observations will allow us to derive its real mass and orbital configuration. If a transit of HG219828 B is detected, we will be able to fully characterize the system including relative orbital inclinations with clearly known mass. HD 219828C may become a benchmark object for the range in between giant planets and brown dwarfs. There you go, I hit gold, baby. There's like a missing link between Jupiters and brown dwarfs. Or is there? Maybe they're kind of the same thing. Is it fascinating? I wonder if it's pink. Is, is planet pink? All right, well, I'm confused. Does that mean they orbit each other every 3.83 days or this? Super Jupiter orbits the hot Neptune every 3.3 days. Hmm. Where are my photographs? Uh, all right. Wow, they're cool looking, man. Well, there you go. Learn something new every day. I've learned that hot Neptunes are a thing. Good to know. If you already knew that, don't make fun of me too bad. Don't be a jerk, dickwad. I was just playing. You can be a jerk if you want, dickwad. But remember, dickwads turn into dickweeds. And Earth is already overrun with dickweeds. Dickwad. <laughs> okay. That was fun. I'm done. God bless everyone. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.